Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is the Upper Tier Podcast. Thought we'd just jump on and do a quick little episode talking about this uh, situation that's developed over the last few days between Ian Wright and the Arsenal fan base and this whole toxicity thing with Eddie Nketiah re-signing and getting the, the number 14, the Terry Henry jersey and all that kind of stuff. And thought we'd delve into it and have a quick look at it. Um, as always, if you could hit the like button if you're on there and also smash that subscribe and bell notification button, we'd really appreciate it as the channel continues to grow and we deliver content to you on a daily basis. As always, if you want to contact the show, it's the upper tier podcast at gmail.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, and Amazon Music for audio versions of the show. And we're all also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all over the place, Twitter, wherever you, you're looking, it is the upper tier. Um, but yeah, this is a this is kind of an interesting one. Um, this man has uh, certainly divided a fan base over the last couple of days somewhat. So we're asking the question today, is it Ian right or is it Ian wrong? Is Righty right um, in what he's coming out with? I know a lot of the fan base have been very vocal in terms of what this man has come out with. Um, kind of an attack on a guy who posted on Instagram and he went in full steam on him. So we look at that as well. But we're going to ask the question as well, is, is it something bigger than this? There's a lot of frustration at the moment. Uh, in the Arsenal fan base, no doubt about it. I mean, obviously, you know, finishing outside the top four was an absolute killer, and even worse when Spurs were the ones who snuck in there. Um, and obviously, there will be concern in the Arsenal fan base at how Tottenham is developing under Conte. I'm sure most Arsenal fans would have expected Conte and Levy to have gone loggerheads at this stage, and probably to have fallen out, and Conte to have probably walked at this stage. But it seems like the two boys are working in tandem at the moment. They're bringing in signings. We seen Arsenal fans the other day who were who were um, very annoyed over Eves Basuma uh, signing with Spurs. He would have been a midfielder that Arsenal would have absolutely loved and a twenty five million an absolute snip. But Spurs got their man, got it over the line. Um, and are developing nicely so there's there's a lot going on here there's a lot bubbling under the surface here with arsenal fans at the moment so the real question about the, the blow up the other day is, is it really related to the number 14 jersey or is there a lot more to do we know they're frustrated with the ownership even though the ownership has provided a hell of a lot of cash to managers to purchase players and um, whether that money is being spent right or not is another question um, we also know that they're very frustrated with at times with Arteta in there as a manager and also with his relationship with Edu and, you know, this whole Project Youth and all that kind of thing. Um, Arsenal looking to get back into the top four um, at the moment, not looking likely with the way other teams are developing. Um, but they do have a number of targets still to bring in that could help that position. But again, we'll look at this as well. And if those targets don't come in, I think Arsenal are going to be looking over their shoulder at teams behind them as opposed to looking up at teams above them. Um, but yeah, it's kind of it's it, it's a difficult one for Arsenal at the moment because they've been drenched in such great history. Um, and it's a fan base that at times has been used to a lot of success. But they find themselves in the wilderness somewhat for the last X amount of years. Um, and it's a difficult one as well because as they slip the kind of third, if you look at the London clubs, the way Chelsea has developed and stuff like that, and I know there's a new ownership in there and they're going to have to re rebuild and sign players under Tuchel and stuff like that. But they will bounce back and they will be much stronger. There's no doubt about that, Chelsea. And then Tottenham on the trajectory that they're on at the moment, they're making real good moves in the market, signing real good players and doing really well as well. And Arsenal is kind of third there at the moment, having been first, are a little bit stagnant at the moment in terms of what they're doing. Um, some of the decision-making is... Um, strange to say the least um, and it's causing a lot of frustration in the Arsenal fan base um, but let's get into talk first of all about the actual the the, the, the meat and the gravy of this row that happens you know obviously um, Eddie and Keddie the, Eddie and Keddie the other day signed a new uh, signed a new deal with Arsenal I think it was something like 5 million sign on fee and £100,000 a week for the next 5 years Um. And then the cream on top of that cake, obviously the icing was obviously getting the 14 jersey, the famous Terry Henry jersey. So I suppose I'm going to ask you subscribers and viewers out there at the moment, how do you feel about iconic jerseys in your club? Um, do you believe they should be retired? Do you believe you know there should be more diligence in the way they're giving out and stuff like that? I know in my own club, Gerard passed the jersey to uh, Naby Keita, but there didn't seem to be a big fiore about it or anything like that. It just happened. Um, so I don't know in terms of this. Is this a 
is this something that's been blown out of proportion? Is the real issue about the actual jersey or is the real issue about Arsenal signing a player who was quite vocal and wanting to move away? Um, who came in and did a reasonable job towards the end of the season. Um, but the Arsenal fan base think he's not the solution and it's a massive contract that they're giving out for a boy that I'm not too sure they think will bring them on a level. Um, obviously, we know the 14 jersey, two boys that are there on the screen, Theo Walcott and Per Emmerich Aubameyang, both wore the jersey as well. Obviously, Aubameyang did really, really well initially and then kind of the blow up where Arteta sent him off the pastures new. Theo, where he didn't really justify the jersey, wasn't the worst in the world, um, was played by injuries and stuff like that, but obviously a fabulous talent and could score goals. Um, but it came out, um, uh, a fan posted on Instagram there, you can see it there, not good enough for number 14, we should have let him go free, that's the waste of time and money. Waste being uh, spelt as in your waste, not as in a waste, um, but neither here nor there. Um, so do you agree? As Arsenal fans out there, do you agree with what this guy posted? Is he right in what he's saying? Certainly what I've heard out there and on forums and on different pages and, and channels and stuff like that, um, not a whole lot of people are getting enthused about Eddie and Keddie are re-signing at this level of cost, albeit he might be part of a bigger plan if the likes of Jesus or something comes in. That could be a nice tangent there between the two if they were playing together. So Riley responded to this and he says, what's a number? Why don't you say nothing if you have nothing positive to say to our players? You can never call yourself an Arsenal fan with negativity of this nature. Would you say it to Eddie's face? It's 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 a weird kind of response. And again, it's probably a response of frustration from Roydy as well. Because Roydy finds himself in a real difficult position. Where, although he might not be happy with what's happening at Arsenal and stuff like that. Probably being an ambassador and he's a guy you see him all the time with the kit launches and the stuff with Adidas and obviously he's a pundit on TV as well on multiple channels and stuff like that. Um, and, and a great character as well and obviously he's a legend at Arsenal. Anyone who's of the of the age that would know of Roydy at Arsenal would know what sort of a legend he is there, you know. So it's a difficult one for him as well because he's kind of trying to play it both ways as well. One, he's trying to be a professional pundit and, a, and an ambassador for the club and all this kind of stuff. And on the other hand, he doesn't want to disrespect the fans in any way and he wants to be viewed as a fan of Arsenal as well. And it's a very difficult situation to be in because what happens is sometimes you post stuff, sometimes that comes back to bite you. you know. And, and in fairness to Ian Wright, he has been questionable of Eddie and Keddie in the past. So I, I think there's a couple of things that come out here from the fan base. One is, should Ian Wright be telling a fan how he should or shouldn't comment on the club and, you know, what is the level of disrespect and are you entitled to have fan opinion and all that kind of stuff? And, you know, you know, would you say it to Eddie's face? Like, what does that mean? That, that to me is like primary school yard stuff, you know what I mean? Would you say it to Eddie's face? I mean, there's loads of fans get up in players' grills and tell them how they feel and stuff like that. So I'm not too sure that carries any water. But then we had Gabrielle um, uh, loading in as well. Gabrielle also responding and says, how can you be so ungrateful? Um, but I mean, Arsenal, it, you know, ungrateful. I mean, Arsenal were shooing for fork this year and uh, they blew it up and they handed it to Spurs. Um, so I'm not sure in terms of using the word ungrateful or grateful is the words I'd be using in terms of the judgment of the Arsenal fan base at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's let's discuss the whole idea. What 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 do you what do you guys think in terms of jerseys? Do do jerseys are they just a number? What's a number? Um, or should it be more revered? Um, I suppose I liken it to when you think about the great Barcelona sides and. You know the great and um, the Real Madrid sides and the Bayern Munich sides and stuff like that. It, it, it's the case. Do you retire jerseys because there's so many jerseys at these clubs that could be retired, and um, that should probably run out of numbers. You know because you think about those great sides in their pomp, that Barcelona side. I think was it 2012, 13 or something like that. I think it was. Like every one of those jerseys could be retired. They were so good. You know, so it's a, it's a weird one really to call. I'm not too sure. Um. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, and then you think about missing out on top four and stuff like that. And for years, they were guaranteed top four under Wenger and stuff like that. And uh, to a point where fans give out to the point where it was nearly treated like an additional trophy if you got top four and stuff like that. Now, Arsenal at this stage would love to get top four because they've been out of it. Um, 
you know, I can understand the frustration, but it's the frustration really about re-signing the kid um, and the frustration in the market at the moment of not knowing what's happening. There's, there's talk of Gabriel Jesus coming in and stuff like that. And if he came in, he'd certainly be a really, really good sign. But I suppose you have to ask yourself the question as well is, um, you know, if, if, if it was... If it was Gabriel Jesus standing there holding the 14 jersey, would you have the same opinion? Um, or would you feel he could potentially be a guy that could go on and justify wearing that jersey? I mean, you know there's probably not going to be anyone like Terry Henry at the club again. Highly unlikely at that level. He was absolutely fantastic as a player. And I get the frustration of that, you know. Um, but yeah... It's it's just such a weird one the way it blows up and stuff like that and it's 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 strange you know that it's you know the focus like giving away this jersey you know the blow up about Eve Basuma all these kind of things you know we are early days in the window two to three weeks in at this stage and stuff like that there are deals being worked on Arsenal have been linked with a lot of players so they are going to do business again and they did do business last year um so what I would say to Arsenal fans is just just hold your powder for the moment you know and see what way see what way it all evolves and stuff like that you know what i mean but i would there's, there's bigger things to be concerned about than who gets a a jersey from a previous legend or hero you know what i mean it's uh, i wouldn't be dwelling on that i think arsenal have much more important things to focus on um and i suppose it's the nature of the way that deal has gone down most fans would say arsenal have nearly begged him to stay you know and it's frustrating when you look at Arsenal who want to be operating at the top level and stuff like that, who want to be challenging for titles and trophies and stuff like that and all. And then you look at the level of Eddie and Kenny and, and that they're, they're nearly begging them to stay and they're giving them the jersey and all that. So I can, I can see it from both sides. Um, and I can see the frustration at Roydy as well coming out and also fans going in on him as well saying, well, our fans are not entitled to have an opinion. Are they not entitled to express how they feel and how they think? Um, Especially where he has already about the kid and stuff like that, you know. So it's a uh, very frustrating for him. You know, no matter how all these issues are connected, the one thing I would say is, if Arsenal don't bring in a top level striker, a midfielder, and a centre back, then they're going to have bigger worries on their on their hands than who wears what number jersey. Um, and from that point of view, I would say just just hold off a little bit longer and see what way the window develops and see what way Arteta and Edu, what else they bring in and can they get the Jesus deal over the line. If they can't get the Jesus deal over the line, then there's way bigger questions and way bigger frustrations to come through than who's wearing Terry on Marie's jersey. Until next time, folks, let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Um, am I devaluing this whole idea of jerseys and stuff like that? Is it is it is it a real thing out there? Um, should jerseys be retired um, never questioning the quality of Terry Henry absolute legend, Premier League legend and fantastic player um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts down there, as always the upper tier podcast at gmail.com we're out there as well on YouTube the upper tier, so if you could go out there hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button and of course hit that like button if you're following it and keep on supporting us and we will talk to you again real soon